Hello and welcome to the LD4 2022 conference, Linking Global Knowledge. I'm Jim Han, I'm the session facilitator. Before I introduce our speaker, I'm gonna highlight a few resources of interest to our attendees just to help uh, navigate the conference. Um, so let's see here. We have a conference website with several important links there. Um, the most important that I'll draw your attention to is we do have a conference code of conduct. If you follow that link, uh, you'll also find resources for reporting any code of conduct violations. Um, during the conference, feel free to use uh, our hashtag uh, LD4 2022 for any linked data conference tweets. Um, we can also offer technical assistance during the conference by way of our conference Slack. Um, there's a tech support channel there. It is a separate Slack than the LD4 community. It was created just for the conference, but uh, we also have channels for each of these sessions and also for the broad topics of the conference. So you, at that Slack, the conference Slack, you can continue the conversation. Um, most sessions are either recorded or streamed to YouTube. So you'll be able to find recordings later at our YouTube presence, which I'll drop here if you wanna find others of the sessions. Um, and this particular one is not streamed, though it, it is recorded and will be available later. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen here and introduce our speaker. Um, I'd like to introduce Aaron the head, discovery, description, and metadata for Western libraries. Uh, Aaron's work focuses on metadata matching for shared collections and decolonizing descriptive practices of libraries. Thanks so much and take it away. I think you're muted. Okay, how's that? We can hear you, I can see your screen. Wonderful. Um, okay, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Erin Johnson and this talk is about building a Wikidata community of practice in an academic library setting. And just for context, Western Libraries is the library system for Western University, which is located in the city of London, Ontario, Canada. It is a fairly large institution and we have an MLIS program here. Um, Wiki Tuesday Western is a monthly meetup that began in 2019 as a grassroots initiative centered on three things. Uh, we are experimenting with linked data, openly sharing library and archival resources that are in our collection and are also in the public domain, and then teaching the editing skills needed to enrich Wikipedia, Wikimedia, and Wikidata content, that open content on the internet. We take a participatory action approach, which means that decisions about project work are formed through group ideation and objectives are set through group discussions. We do encourage cross sharing of knowledge, so um, peer to peer learning. Meetups are not only about project work, Wiki Tuesday is also an open space for presentations, workshops, whatever it is that participants would like to contribute uh, within that space. And so meetups are often informal and they're led by the group's direction. And this really creates a space rooted in exploration and creativity rather than in productivity, um, which leads to involvement in project work that is self-motivated. And this participant-led approach has been key to seeing project work through to completion um, because this is experimental. It's not part of our day-to-day -day responsibilities at the library. So who are the participants? We have a group that is varied and it does ebb and flow with who participates in what projects, depending on what they're interested in. Uh, some regular attendees come from the library and university staff, the MLIS students at the university, and the art museum marketing coordinator within Ontario joins our group from time to time. Today, I will outline three Wikidata projects that we have worked on at Wiki Tuesdays that have helped us to grow a small community of Wikidata editors at our library. And with each of these projects, we have built on and deepened our knowledge um, obtained through the project before it. 
So the first project we worked on introduced the concept of semantic triples in structured data using Wikidata. In brainstorming ideas, the idea of uploading the London Historic Maps collection came up as a good candidate. And this is because the maps are in the public domain and they already had existing metadata and the images had already been digitized. So in terms of a pilot project, it was a pretty low hanging fruit. We also thought that these maps had um, have value to the local London public as historical maps of the area. And so in that sense, they were worth sharing more broadly and openly. To explore linked data as part of this project, we created Wikidata entries for unique digitized maps in this collection. And then we linked them to Wikimedia Commons uh, images and into a gallery page. The Commons Gallery property needed to be added to each Wikidata item for the maps to be displayed on this page. And then learning how to create a Wikidata item and link it to an image in Wikicommons was supported by supplying the necessary tools on a Wikidata project page. Um, we have a project page for every project that we work on now, and this is how we communicate different aspects of that project. So this one included um, elements like prepped data, links to prepped data, data models, detailed instructions on how to create a Wikidata item. And then when the pandemic hit during this project, we added demonstration videos and a chat channel to help facilitate that distanced learning and to continue work on this initiative from home. Um, prior to the pandemic, to stir interest and participation, we held some outreach events, including a booth at GIS Day and a couple of drop-in workshops. Um, and then with this project, many participants became first-time Wikidata editors, and also they became repeat attendees at WikiTuesday events. In the first year as a group, a space for loose Wikidata objectives was formed. And what was beautiful about this was that the participation of those with little or no prior understanding of linked data principles, participation of colleagues from across the library. I mentioned peer-to-peer -peer learning as an element of our participatory approach. And while working um, on our first Wikidata project, there were a few talks about linked data presented at our meetups. We had a presentation about the overlapping values of libraries and the Wikidata community. We had a PhD student outline their dissertation on the use of semantic triples in um, library catalogs. And we had a talk to share knowledge that we obtained at a Wikidata skills development workshop that was provided through the Wikidata Summer Institute. So through WikiTuesday, we were able to secure funds to support four staff to attend this workshop. And each of the colleagues that attended the workshop was from a different functional area of the library. Our second project was again to upload images to Wikimedia Commons and then link to Wikidata items. But this time we wanted to do so in a bulk way uh, by experimenting with two tools that we learned about at the Wikidata Summer Institute. And that's a tool called PattyPan, which you can use to upload images to Wikimedia Commons, and also another tool called Quick Statements, which can be used to create new Wikidata items or edit existing items in bulk. This project really benefited from the participation of Tom Belton, who's the head of archives and special collections at our institution, and also from the help that Leanne Olson, the digitization librarian here, uh, provided in extracting the archival metadata for us to use. On this project, we worked in smaller breakout groups to create data models like this one you see on the slide that map descriptions of our archival system to wiki data. Um, the act of creating these data models as a group did extend the time needed to complete this project, but it also helped to deepen the group's understanding of how these items are linked and connected. Um, so here you just see a screen grab of the Wikidata item that we created. This was our example item for the bulk upload, and we created this item uh, as a group as well. 
other foundational items that we created uh, in group settings for the bulk upload include an item for the Heinz Studio collection that could be used to qualify the creator property. Also an item for the Heinz Studio, um, sorry, the Heinz Studio is the creator property and then the Heinz Studio collection, which qualifies the collection property and allows us to use that inventory number relating to the collection. And then we also created a item for the series level description um, and for the series that these photographs are in, and that was called Retail Businesses. Here's an example of the Google Sheet we used for the bulk upload of Wikidata items using quick statements. This sheet was created using information produced in the data models. Um, and I just wanted to note that the Heinz Studio and the Heinz Studio Collection, those foundational items we created are property qualifiers in our bulk upload. And then I also wanted to note um, property P485, which is the archives at property in Wikidata, which we qualified with the University of Western Ontario libraries. And the archives at property with qualifier uh, for Western libraries links all these images together. We can then use Wikidata query service to export a listing of all the Wikidata items uh, with that archives at property. And we can use that list to edit any of the items we've created or really just keep track of those items as well. Our current project that we're working on focuses on mapping MARC metadata to Wikidata with the end goal of populating an instance in Scolia. Scolia is a tool that uses Wikidata to create visualizations of scholarly information, things like publications and authors and their citations. And this project um, has the benefit of leadership and involvement from Emily Carlisle Johnston, who is a research and scholarly communications librarian at our institution. Our goal with this project is to populate Western libraries in Scolia with journals from Western's open journal system, and really also just to experiment with this open tool for visualizing scholarly communications, like the one you see here on the screen, which visualizes um, Western's open journals on a timeline. To start this project, I exported the metadata for these journals in MARC format, which was then mapped to Wikidata properties and values. Again, um, creation of the data model was done as a group learning exercise. And this project we didn't upload in bulk, though it would have been pretty easy to do so um, with our prior knowledge from the last project, but instead we opted to use the prepared data and the data model to hold drop-ins for one-on-one -on -one help with editing and to further expand participation of first-time Wikidata editors. As we explore uploading journals, we notice that some of the article level, some of them have article level information while others don't. And this is because those articles have Wikidata items. So once our journals are uploaded to Wikidata, we can move on to looking at how we might bulk upload article level metadata for Western's open journals. And doing this would deepen the visualizations that Scolia can create for each journal to include things like um, author connections, the number of citations, what journals um, the article has been cited in, um, awards that the authors have received, and, and, and so forth. So I've outlined three projects that we've worked on at Wiki Tuesday Western that have increased institutional knowledge of Wikidata and of linked data. These projects have developed from participant-led explorations and peer-to-peer -peer learning. So participation of archivists, to showcase archival images, participation of SCALCOM librarians to explore data visualizations of scholarly communication. These are projects that have been pursued based on the interests of participants. And this approach has made the goal of meetups to explore and learn rather than to produce, leading to self-motivated participation in different projects that speak to different people's interests. Uh, consistency in the meetup once a month first Tuesday of every month um, has been dedicated to exploring linked data principles using Wikidata and this time that has been set aside, the space that has been set aside at our institution um, is where the Wikidata community of practice uh, has formed. Thank you.
Okay, thanks so much, Aaron. It's really excellent. Um, and um, I took notes on some tools I want to try out. So um, really appreciate you sharing your expertise here with us. Um, we, we are coming up uh, cl close against time here. So um, I will just ask people to, if they have questions, perhaps um, you know, post those on Slack. Um, and um, I think we'll, we'll close out here for, for the day. So um, thanks so much, everyone. Uh, have a great conference. And, and thanks, Aaron. Thank you.